there was a girl by the name of Beverly Ross who I met at a party who wrote a song called Lollipop. And uh, it was a big hit. You remember Lollipop, Lollipop? And I, I love music, you know. And she says, why don't you write a song with me? And I said, okay, I will. And in a half, oh, half hour, an hour, we wrote a song together called The Girl My Best Friend. And Elvis Presley recorded it for one of his albums. I said, this is great. One hour's of work, and I got an Elvis Presley. So I said, I'm quitting writing. That's it. I'm going to just write songs. And for two years, I struggled writing songs and not making any money at all. And uh, I, I don't know, uh, Mad Magazine, I, I did their, their comedy albums for them. And uh, that's how I met Arnie, Arnie Kogan. He used to write Mad, he still does write Mad Magazine sketches. And uh, I was starving in New York again, and I didn't know where, you know, and, and nobody re knew me anymore because they took off two years. What was your reaction when you heard Elvis was going to record? I said, that's nice, you know. I mean, it, he was big and all that, but uh, I kind of felt I deserved it. I worked a half hour on the show, you know. And, uh, yeah, he, he did. And I, I still get money from that, that song. And I just was one of the co-writers. Talk a little bit about the Mad Magazine albums. How did that, how did you get involved with those? I was writing with a, a musician by the name of Norman Blagman. And it was coming up with ideas. <coughs> we must have written 300 songs together. And uh, it was, when I think about it now, it was a silly time, but it was, I was very serious about it. And uh, I, I still had a, you know, still thought funny, and I was still writing sketches and not selling them. And so uh, um, I had an idea. I said, why don't we parody some of the great classics, they were, there were only three notes, ding, 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 you know, Judy, oh, Judy, I love you, Judy. So <clears throat> we wrote uh, an album of, I wrote a bunch of lyrics, we put it uh, into music, and we sold it to RCA, they, you know, and RCA, after a while, was afraid to put it out. It wasn't dirty or anything, but they thought it was a little bit too wild. So then, we had an idea to take it to Mad Magazine, and the, uh, Leonard Gaines was the um, publisher at the time, and he loved it because it was crazy. And so he took it from us and sold it to a, another company. And um, it sold a few albums, but not very, very much, you know. Uh, the company wasn't very strong. So I had did that. I did two albums for, we did two Mad Magazine albums.